Condenser Operation Checks During the operation of a condenser, operators make routine checks in order to identify problems and ensure that the condenser operates safely and efficiently. Let's take a look at some of the routine checks that operators typically make in order to identify problems and ensure that a condenser operates safely and efficiently. One important check is the level in the receiver. This can be checked using a sight glass on the receiver or from a display or a chart recorder in the control room. If the receiver level is too high, the condenser shell could flood, reducing the condenser's efficiency. If the level in the receiver gets too low, equipment located downstream of the condenser could be damaged. For example, the pump that is used to pump distillate out could start to cavitate. The cavitation could prevent the pump from operating properly and the pump could be damaged. A receiver may have a controller that automatically maintains level. An abnormal level could be an indication of many problems, such as a problem with the controller. A low level could also be an indication of a problem with the cooling water flowing through the condenser. Another important operator check is the condenser's temperatures and pressures. These indications can be checked on instruments attached to or near the condenser. They may also be checked on displays in the control room. One pressure reading that is important to check is the receiver's pressure. If the pressure in the receiver drops too low, the product liquid may flash back into a vapor. The condenser's pressure is also important to check. On condensers that operate under a vacuum, insufficient vacuum may affect the efficiency of the condenser. Too little vacuum can result from the cooling water temperature being too high, from too little cooling water flow, from steam pressure being too low at the air ejectors, or from air leaking into the condenser. Many condensers have control valves that regulate the flow of cooling water through the unit. An abnormal cooling water temperature could be an indication of a problem with the control system or with the cooling water system. Process Fluid Contamination Another important check for operators to make is for contamination of the process fluid in the condenser. If there is any contamination, there may be a tube leak in the condenser. One way to check for contamination is to take a sample of the lower pressure fluid and have it tested for the presence of the higher pressure fluid. In some cases, the sample can be checked visually to see if it is contaminated. In addition to sample test results, conductivity and pH readings of cooling water may also indicate a tube leak. If there is any indication of contamination, it is important to determine the source of the problem and take the appropriate corrective action. <laughs>